Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. And speaking of extreme weather, they're getting it in the tri-state area in New York City. At last check, uh, LaGuardia Airport was up to eight inches of rain, significant flooding in some of the boroughs this evening. Of course, we have our rain. Fortunately, we're not getting flash flooding, but gray, damp, and cool. Looking at Narragansett right now, temperatures that are in the upper 50s to lower 60s. When we're not getting a steady rain, it's being filled in with, you know, mist and drizzle, so it's raw and damp. Most areas now in the upper 50s. Oh, Providence still at 60, New Bedford 61, and Cumberland is cool at 56. We'll stay in the 50s throughout the evening and, and overnight hours, but certainly heading out tonight, uh, you know, obviously grab an umbrella, maybe a warmer coat. It is chilly. Uh, the rain will continue off and on, and we do have wet weather for the front part of the weekend, uh, specifically Saturday and especially the, the first half of the day during the morning, but even up until like noontime, one o'clock, probably still some lingering showers. It doesn't really dry out until late day and early evening. And as far as complete clearing, probably uh, after sunset and tomorrow night. And what that does is sets up for a much nicer finish to the weekend. Sunday is gorgeous, all day sunshine, warm and dry, warm meaning temperatures in the mid, uh, mid 70s. So clearly a, a half and half weekend. Satellite and radar composite currently shows the steadiest rain right now is in the northern part of the state. To the south, it's just mostly mist and drizzle and low clouds. But that torrential rain excessive continues in western Connecticut and in New York City right now. It's been uh, raining very hard in the, over the same areas for the last several hours. Area of low pressure offshore storm system, but throwing back precipitation across New England. That'll continue this evening and over night. That if anything, the rain may become a little bit heavier later on tonight in our area, and it does spill over into tomorrow morning. This is 9 a.m. Here we are on southern New England. Storm is offshore, but still throwing back moisture. And even during the afternoon, I don't see much in the way of clearing, though the precipitation is winding down, but it really shuts off by late day, early evening as this whole system slides offshore. Here we are Sunday morning, 8 a.m. This is more like it with the sunshine system continues to pull away. Look at the afternoon sunny skies on Sunday and a temperature at 74 real nice and that continues into a uh, Sunday evening as far as excessive rainfall now through Saturday clearly the bullseye is Long Island New York Southwest Connecticut and New York City our area it's a marginal to slight risk we're not overly concerned here about flash flooding but you know driving in the, to work this this afternoon there are there's some standing water on some of the roads and some big puddles so you want to take it slow the flash flood watch for the areas in green and then those counties that have a warning is in the areas in red quite simply the heaviest rain is going to be confined uh, well to our west so damp gray cool tomorrow morning with periods of rain likely temperatures in the upper 50s it's not great during the afternoon it's cloudy breezy and raw only low 60s some showers up until about 12 1 o'clock and then mid to late day it is drying up but there's not much in the way of clearing until tomorrow night bay forecast raw and chilly northeast wind 10 to 20 visibility poor during the morning and early afternoon in the areas of showers drizzle and fog all right seven day forecast there's the better half of the weekend which is sunday sunshine in fact sunday marks day one of an incredible stretch of warm dry and sunny weather looking at temperatures uh, during those days in the mid 70s and nights uh, essentially in the middle 50s but uh, damp and raw now through at least uh, I would say three quarters of Saturday. I've got my eyes on Monday. And Looks Tuesday good. and Wednesday. <laughs> yeah that's right. All right Tony thanks still ahead on 12 news at 5.